everything is sexist. <laughs> I haven't done one of these in a while. Let's once again apply feminist logic to instances of inequality suffered by men. You know the drill. Here are some examples of that very feminist logic in action, and I'm going to preemptively show them to you so that you understand the great irony um, that exists within this story. Some of these stories are as recent as, oh my, January 2018. So let's get on with it. Everybody relax, Stanford isn't banning men from its student gym. Some people seem to have the wrong idea about Stanford's new women-only lifting class. Well, maybe if you're one of those types to only ever read headlines as a source for news, sure, that might be the case, this might apply, but here at Weibo Productions, we like to read entire articles and look through their sources before jumping headfirst and breaking our faces on conclusions. Thank you very much. I know, it's an achievement, isn't it? Not everyone does it for some reason. I don't know why. However, everyone with even half the internet street smarts of a 4chan autist will tell you the headlines are by no means the meat and potatoes of any news media outlet article. You want the absolutely juicy bits, the creme de la creme, if you will. That part that tells you exactly what it is that you need to know, not just, oh, I don't know what you think you already know. Stanford University announced earlier this week that on Mondays and Wednesdays, its student gym would host two-hour women-only weight training sessions with no men allowed. And then the internet lost its mind. As the internet is prone to do in all and every instance of anything that has ever occurred, ever. I don't think you understand how much of an everyday occurrence the internet losing its collective shit is. A few conservative media outlets picked up the story and ran with it, framing it under the headline Stanford protects inclusivity by banning men from the gym twice a week. Now, if you're gonna argue semantics about headlines, you're just gonna argue right past each other because both articles pretty much say the same fucking thing, except one goes into a more detailed account of things and the history of uh, male-only spaces and female-only spaces and the relationship between the two of them, and one of them doesn't necessarily. So. You be the decider, I guess. Namely, this um, article that you're talking about was done by the College Fix, which is a student-reported outlet, and funnily enough, their article is in fact significantly more full, let's say, than yours. Girthier, meatier, um, swole. <laughs> anyway, you and I both know that a headline is barely worth its salt and substance. If you had even considered bothering to read the article, I know it's long and you're probably not focused enough person to sit through much more than a headline plus a header, but but had you read the article, you would know that there's actually a lot more to the article that you're talking about than you're letting on. And here's the thing, I know that you're not above reading articles either, since, well, we'll see in a minute, the exact extent to which you are so okay with reading through articles that you blatantly rip whole and entire chunks out of the article to make up the meat and potatoes of your own article. Wow, I'm saying article a lot, aren't I? I need to stop. But here's the thing, Stanford isn't banning men from the gym to teach women how to lift. The original website for the uh, classes appears to be down, but there's still an archived version online. If you read the description of the classes on the archived site, it's completely clear that Stanford is in no way banning men from the gym. The women-only classes take place in AOERC uh, 112, a private training room inside of the 75,000 square foot athletic complex. There are blackout curtains placed over the window so no one can peer in, and yes, men aren't welcome, but that's it. It's one room in a gym that boasts a 14,000 square foot fitness center, indoor and cycling facilities, a 50 meter swimming pool, basketball courts, and a freaking rock wall. Wow, actually, I'm kind of jealous. I, I wish our, my school had a rock wall. What I'm hearing and what you're saying is that men are not full out banned from the student gym, rather they're being banned from a section of the student gym. A ban is a ban, though, am I right? I mean, if not, then... Someone please tell the feminists that they were overreacting when they were prohibited from joining the Boy Scouts and decided they wanted to... Anyway, oh wait. Men's Health reached out to Jennifer Sexton, the Stanford Director of Fitness and Wellness Programs, to confirm whether the classes are still happening, but we had not heard back at time of publication. This next part is fantastic, and you're going to see why. Just wait, they completely gloss over the ironic bits of this. Mm, truly delicious instance of, uh, hypocrisy. According to the Stanford Daily, the campus's student paper, Sexton, and the Associate Director of Recreational Programs, Doralisa Kelly, 
started the women only workout sections to help women who didn't feel comfortable lifting in public gym areas to build confidence and get into the hobby. Well, according to the Stanford Daily, which is the um, publication that you got this entire section of uh, meat and potatoes from, the actual full quote you neglected to remember including, and I know you know the one, most of this entire article is blatantly ripped from the original student newspaper. The original quote goes a little something like this. Sexton and Kelly jump-started the idea after hearing feedback from Stanford women who didn't feel comfortable in large gym spaces. The idea also spurred from broader efforts by an inclusivity committee created a year ago to understand the needs of different communities by reaching out to various partners across campus. It's interesting that this whole entire initiative stemmed from the idea of being inclusive. However, at the same time, it disincludes an entire sect of people who identify a certain way. Well. Pickle my Rick, Ogre my Shrek, and Floride my Frogs, calling them frickin' gay, why don't ya? This is a bit, well, for lack of a better term, disingenuous, methinks. The free weight section can be an intimidating place, after all. Well, I mean, maybe you're first to go to the gym if you have no fucking clue what you're doing, but then that's what you have friends who go to the gym and a trainer for. And you write for men's health? The private workout classes are meant to give women a place they could sweat it out without worrying about the local gym rats, protein farts, or unsolicited form checks scaring them off. Well, that's one way to refer to your entire user base at Men's Health. You know, the people you're talking both about and to whom you think should be bothering women. Jack, I need an idea for an article for the news trending section of our men's magazine. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Step one. Insult our entire user base. Step two. Step three. Profit. What happened to step two? How? 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 What? Jack, you done cucked yourself. Marina Wittmann, one of the personal trainers working the news sessions, said that so far they've been a success. It's a safe space to make women feel more comfortable so that there's no guy machoing around, Wittmann told the Stanford Daily. It's a little less intimidating to use the free weights. It's really hard if you don't know where to start. We try to teach women to use equipment that they would generally not use. <laughs> you want to know what the original article also said that she said? Irina Vittman, one of the personal trainers available during the training hours, lauded the new space for its inclusivity. You know, I was under the impression that you healthy gym-type guys enjoyed a healthy dose of iron. I guess not, since you're missing out on some of the prime, first-class irony going on right now in this very article, and it's a damn shame. The rest of the gym, of course, is still open to everyone, no matter their gender identity or level of swole. The rest of the gym? Oh. Yes, completely free to use, except for this certain place, at this certain time, it's restricted for this specific identity. You know, I don't, I don't even really take issue with passive gender segregation. Women, you can have your own fucking spaces, men, you as well, and I, I, well, I will be cooped up in my humble abode, I call a room, for all of time, enjoying my own company, eating my own bagel bites, without anyone else disturbing my sweet sweet solitude. Y'all can fuck off. However, what I do have an issue with is the hypocrisy, as so illustrated at the very beginning of this video, where I showcased multiple examples of people of the feminist persuasion who, in fact, took issue with male-only spaces and the blatant bullshit that I am hearing. The double standards, yeah, that's, that's not a new thing. That's something of a hallmark for social justice. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves, though. People go to the gym not to be comfortable, but to push their body to a limit in order to better themselves. Trust me, I know. I go to the gym. This whole this whole idea of segregating a group of people, though, it, it seems like social handicapping to me, though. And for what? For the sake of inclusivity? Really? Inclusion, my ass. Call it what it is. A workout daycare for adults who care more about gender, social, what-the-fuck-ever pressures and shit than they actually do about physical fitness. I am so sorry that this is so short. I did intend to have another video out today, much longer in substance and much more me meatier, but um, that's been put on hold for today. What that means, though, for you guys is that you're getting 
two videos from me this week on my channel, so I hope that the influx of content more than makes up for it. If you guys like what I'm doing here, please consider checking out the Maker Teespring Patreon and Amazon links in the description down below. If you like me, however, maybe not that much, that's totally cool. You can always like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you.